All right, guys, it finally happened, and I gotta say, I was wrong. So, originally, I thought, you know, May 17th, probably most likely date. Nope, we're getting it sooner! Okay, I'm super excited, so I'm just gonna get right into it. Twitter post pops up on the V Rising page, IGN video for the official trailer, and it is super exciting with the May 8th release day. Meet your maker May 8th. All right, let's get right into it. I'm super hyped. I'm going to be pausing a lot, probably looking through this trailer very slowly, but holy shit, guys, I am so excited <laughs> right now. All right, let's get started. century there's a new uh okay i know i paused already i know but it sounds like there's a new uh voice like a new narrator that's really interesting so our castles lay forgotten in ruin. let me go back let me go back sorry okay i'll shut up for centuries our castles lay forgotten in ruin our kind hidden Darkness. Until now. We will rise from the shadows. Their blood will become. Vampires will come. Oh them. no, not Tristan. Anything but Tristan. Oh no. Also, I okay, so I'm I'm gonna go back a couple frames here, right? I'm not gonna watch it like full through. This is my first time seeing this, by the way, guys. So I I gotta go back. I'm trying not to interrupt too much, but I, I gotta react to this. So this castle, just wanna quickly point out is in a snowy area. I presume that this is probably going to be the new area that we haven't seen yet. Few indicators of that, the snow area, this place does not look familiar in the game. Uh, if we look down here to the bottom left, it looks like there's like maybe some, some other infrastructure here. This could be like a town or something. It's hard to tell. Um, so just so, some little things to point out, but so far so good. All right, continuing. There's the blood moon right there. Now. I don't know about you, but that does not look human right there. That looks like some kind of scaly boy. Um, just looking at his face, maybe it's the art style. It's hard to tell, but he looks a bit like a scaly boy. We'll see. Their blood will become our power. Okay, so all right, we got dual pistols and we got the the I, I call them like sickles, but they're they're more like the rogue weapons, as some people like to call them. You got Tristan in the background with his sword. Uh, it's hard to tell from this picture whether this is still the snowy area. I'm looking through it and I, I'm not exactly sure. Um, let's continue. Vampires will conquer them. Oh, it's raining. It's raining in this area. Interesting. I wonder if that's going to be a thing because we don't have, currently we don't ha really have weather in the game unless it's like bloom rot or i mean i guess a snowy area but this is rain this is not snow we're looking at night and all who oppose us all right so just taking a quick look pretty sure i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure this is tristan um he's also i think he's part of like a vampire hunting uh faction that kind of uh 
all wear similar gear. It's hard to know, but I'm I'm just getting trust and vibes from this guy. I could be wrong though. Okay, we got a werewolf out in an open field. Okay, there's windmills. Interesting. There's the swamps right there, cursed forests. Pretty sure that's like Maja right there. Interesting. Or if it's not Maja, it could just be a random witch. Sorry, did I say Maja? I'm thinking, um, did I get my bosses mixed up? I could be right. I don't know. Continuing. That's bone explosion right there, that ability. All right, cool. Let's go back again. Sorry. That was probably uh, Solaris right there. We go back. All right, so these are still pistols, still regular weapons. I don't see any new weapons yet. Okay, that's the great sword. She's using two hands, definitely great sword. And that looks like that could be Solaris. I'm looking around to see if there's anything else. Bone explosion. Okay, the horses, they don't look very different here. Um, I don't see any new barding. This looks like the stuff we currently have in game. It's hard to tell. Um, there's a lot of snow though, that's cool. You who dare challenge my rule. This is the same castle, but on the other side. It looks like they turned the camera around and this is the other side of the castle. Interesting. Um, okay, I don't see anything else of importance. Defy my reign and face devastation. Oh no. Oh shit. For I am Dracula. Fuck yeah, he said the thing, guys. He said the thing. Okay, all right. <laughs> that is awesome. Right. Holy crap. Finally. It's happening, fam. It's happening. May 8th. Oh, hold on. Hold up. Steam May 8th, 2024. To be announced for PlayStation? Really? Not the same day? Visit playvrising.com. Okay. So I got questions. I got questions. First of all, why not the PS5 version also on May 8th? Or was this made before that and they weren't sure when they were going to release it so they didn't include it just curious um i i i kind of doubt they would have not had this included if they had known for sure though considering how big of an announcement it is but to not see like an actual date and it's just tba for ps5 is kind of weird um I thought, or at least I was under the impression that they would probably come out together. Now I'm not so sure. Um, that's not necessarily a good thing. Let's go back. Let's look at this character design. So we got Dracula, right? Let me uh, move forward right there. So it looks like we have a lot of blood on him. Uh, it looks like he's been through some shit. We got a really cool castle throne. Let's go back, actually. Let's look at his throne. Is this a new throne we're getting? It looks cool. It, it looks so it looks like instead of the wings being at the top here, the wings are at the bottom, which is interesting. Um, I hope we get this as a furniture item. That'd be really nice. Um, looking at these chandeliers, I don't think we have these in the game right now. These look new. 
I hope we get those. Um, this flooring, like this carpet looks kind of new. Um, the closest thing we have to that now is I think the, I think there is a Dracula pack. Now I think about it. I'm trying to remember. And it's like one of the, the DLCs that you buy. But just looking at this, this is a new carpet. Um, I don't think we have this because we don't have anything that has like a stripe through the center like that yet. Um, I mean, it could be two carpets side by side, but I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. I think this is just one long carpet. That's really, that's really interesting, actually. Okay. And then, of course, we go forward. We see this. Man, this is probably where we're going to end up fighting him. I really hope that, like... Like, I I'm not worried about how hard this guy's going to be as far as, like, fighting him. I am expecting, like, Adam levels of... Uh... Difficulty. At least. Because... When Gloomrock came out... I mean, it took me several months to kill him solo. It was insane. Dracula is probably going to be way worse. I, I can only imagine. He looks interesting, though. I, I like his um his armor. It's very. um. It's very imposing. Like, he's huge. Like, look at him. Look how big he is compared to like these guys. Huge. I mean, this is this is actually very very frightening let's go back to like when they first enter let's take a look here so the arena is not even built the room isn't even built like there's just holes everywhere and face devastation there we go and then when he shows up the room fixes the salt that's really interesting and it looks like they get pushed back slightly let's go back one more Yeah, see, they get pushed back slightly. Let's go back. Maybe we can go back frame by frame. Let me slow it down. Actually, yeah, let's let's slow it down. How about how about we go to like half speed and see? Station. Actually, let me actually let's mute it. Let's take a look. So we have some bats, we have some sparking. Look at that room transition. Like if we if we go back, look at that. Those columns are straight. It's like it's almost like he never left. It's really weird. That that is fascinating. I don't know. Something about that really stands out to me. And the fact that like they slide backwards, I wonder if that's gonna be a normal thing where you just get pushed back. Um, I already know they've implemented pushback or, you know, knockback mechanics in this game for sure. So it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, you walk into the room, he, he appears and then boom, he pushes you back like that. That'd be actually pretty cool. I mean, I don't know why I find that like so interesting. But I mean, this is, looks really good. Like even like I can only imagine what this will look like in game. Like this room is probably huge in game. Uh, I find it interesting that there's columns here. Am I supposed to use these to hide behind? <laughs> like, serious question. Um, let's go back a little bit. So something else, too, that I forgot to mention is that these little houses and stuff, this kind of looks like a snowy area still. Like, if you look at it, like, it's kind of like if you look at the ground, this looks like this might be a new area. It, it's kind of hard to tell, though. Let's see. The trees don't have any, like, leaves on them, so that's a good indicator. I mean, I don't know. This does look like this could be the area that I pointed out earlier in the first frame where I said that this kind of looks like some kind of town or something. So I wonder where this cliff is actually going to be located. That's actually kind of interesting, but I don't know. This is crazy. I Honestly, guys, I was not expecting <laughs> a launch date to be May 8th. I also wasn't expecting the launch date to be announced now like i was just like wow like <laughs> that is awesome like just looking through this i'm like super hype i wonder if all the villagers here are going to be undead because this guy here he does not look human i'm just gonna say it like he does not like he looks skeletal maybe it's the art style uh, i could be wrong 
Also, the architecture of these homes is different. They have a lot more windows. I don't remember the houses in Dunley having windows like this. And also, they're built higher up, kind of like the Gloomrot homes, where like the top of them, like they're like multi-story, but they don't really have stairs inside, if that makes sense. That's kind of interesting. I don't see anything else here that I want to point out, though. I'm just kind of like my eyes are kind of looking, but... So, a few things we didn't get in this trailer that I would have liked to have seen. Release date for PS5. Um, I thought it would be the same day. The fact that it says to be determined or to be announced is uh, interesting. Uh, I, I assume this is also probably Tristan. This could also not be Tristan. The reason why I think it's Tristan is because there's rain in the area and not snow, which kind of tells me this is like a different area of the map entirely, which kind of makes sense because this right here, this Dunley area, right? That's where you see the werewolves. So it would make sense that this, these are all other parts of the map that have nothing to do with that one area. And these are just showcasing the, the various um, environments. So that's kind of what's going through my mind here. And then, of course, you got all these werewolves. I mean, it's really interesting to look at. I mean, these look these look so cool. I mean, I, I really like this trailer because it kind of sh gives like an idea of what to expect. I just wish we had gameplay footage. That's the only thing. That's my only complaint about this trailer is that we don't actually have any like gameplay in game footage. I would have really liked to have seen that, but uh, this is pretty cool, not gonna lie. I am pretty hyped for this game. I, I think that, you know, showing the various bosses, you know, like you had Tristan, you had, which I assume is Tristan, like I said. Um, we got the werewolf chief right here. He is definitely the chief. Look how big he is compared to these guys. These guys are a lot smaller than him. You can tell, right? You got, I mean, these are, this is really cool. And then you got you know, running through the snow. I mean, it's just really beautiful. I, I love this trailer so much. I, I like it. I, I wonder, like, if there's something I'm missing here, because I feel like there's always, like, little details and things about these trailers that I tend to, like, notice after I make a video, and I'm like, damn it, <laughs> you know, like, um, but wow, this is this is insane. I, I mean, I know I'm just, like, kind of, like, saying the same thing over and over, but I, I cannot... I cannot begin to emphasize how excited I am for this release, guys. It's not even funny. The fact that he actually said Dracula, like at that moment, I was like, I'm sold. Like, <laughs> holy crap. This is awesome. I am super excited. Like, this is this is actually insane. Awesome. But uh, yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at the look at the armor on this dude. And he's like covered in blood, too. Like he's been going through some some other vampires, probably. He's I wonder if he's just going to stay in his castle and just be like, yeah, I'm the ruler here. I stay here or. Or if he's going to occasionally leave and cause havoc, I would like to see Dracula go where he pleases. OK, like maybe that's just me. We don't have anything like that in the game currently where like a boss just kind of, you know, goes from one part of the map to all the way on the other side of the map. Like we just don't really see it. Um, like even the vampire hunters, they kind of like, you know, patrol around their specific areas. Um, it would be nice. It would be nice to see something like that. But uh, something we didn't see that I would have liked to see new weapons. Uh, I did not see any new weapons here. Um, they're really trying to hide what kind of weapons they're bringing. I mean, I could sit here and theorize and, and make predictions. That might be another video. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm super excited. Something else I wanted to point out about this announcement is that because it's, it's uh, announced for May 8th, for those of you who might know, that's actually the same day as my debut. I actually first started streaming May 8th of last year. So it's kind of crazy how like this whole thing kind of came full circle. It's almost like, you know, it's like it's meant to be, man. It's meant to be. So I guess that's going to be an extra special day. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Is it was there anything cool in the um, in the trailer that I missed that maybe you thought was interesting? Because like this is freaking awesome. Like I'm just going to outright say it. Um, wow. Uh, 
Yeah, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Sholo Q. I'm a Sholoese Queenly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I stream three times a week, usually Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. This week, however, I'm streaming Friday instead of Thursday, and that'll be V Rising on Friday. Um, so if you want to stop by and say hello and, you know, check out the stream, feel free to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess that's all I got for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, Sholo out.